Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to create the pipe obstacle to the game. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the resources folder, and we want to select both of the pipes, and we want to right click and create a sprite. Okay, now let's go back to the blueprints. Let's right click and create a new blueprint class, type actor, let's call this pipes. Now let's open it, let's drag from it and move it next to the level 1. Now let's search for a paper, right, let's call this pipe upper. Let's select our pipe upper sprite. Now what we want to do, we want to set the x size to 2.5. Uh, y to 0 0.005 and set to 3. Okay, and also let's set the location set to 3000, like that. Okay, next thing what we want to do is we want to keep the pipe upper selected and we want to add a Collision, box collision, and let's call this set collision upper. Okay, now let's set uh, x size 3.5, y to 1000, set to 23, and now let's reset this location value, so it should be exactly the same size as the uh, pipe, uh, pipe upper sprite. If it's not, you can adjust it a little bit, and actually I think it should go a little bit further down, like this. Okay, actually let's make it like minus 5. Okay, now what we want to do, we want to duplicate the pipe upper, let's call it pipe lower, and let's, ch let's change the sprite to pipe lower sprite, and the location to minus 3000, okay? The next thing is we want to select the dead collision, let's copy it, and let's set the pipe lower, and let's paste it there. Now let's rename this to the dead collision lower. Okay, and okay, now let's move it under the pipe lower, and what we want to do next, we want to set the X scale to uh, actually yeah let's set the X scale to 3.5 Y to 1000 and X to 23 the location is I think it's zero yeah actually let's Go closer and check. Let's actually set the jet location to 5. I think that's better. Okay, now let's select the pipe upper and pipe lower. And here on collision presets, we want to set it to no collision. Okay, because we don't want to have any collision on the actual sprites. So, the next thing, what we want to do is, we want to go to the event graph, and we want to del delete everything else than the event tick. And from the event tick, we want to actually first get the default scene root, and we want to set world location. Let's connect it to the event tick, like this. Let's move this a little bit further up. Oh, and actually a little bit that. 
Let's split the new location struct pin. Now let's get the world location from the default scene root. So get world location. Now let's split the return value. And we can just connect the Y to Y and set the set. But on the X, what we want to do, we want to add a value. Let's connect this to the X. So let's move the this a little bit further down. Okay, and what we want to add, we want to add minus 25, or you can just minus, get the minus node and make it 25, but I don't know, I like to do it this way. So, next thing, what we have to do is we want to compile, we want to save and go back to level one. Here, we want to go to the GM Flappy and we want to open full blueprint editor. Here we want to create a new function called spawn pipe. Here what we want to do, we want to get from the execute pin and we want to spawn actor from class. Class will be the uh, uh, pipe. Let's actually search for it. So pipe, pipes. And the uh, spawn transform, we want to split it and we want to promote the spawn transform location to a variable. Let's rename this to pipe spawn location. Okay. Now we want to check where we want to spawn the pipe. So let's go to the level one. Let's move our pipes to the level. And actually, let's set the locations. So X, zero, Y, let's make it like 10 and set like zero. Let's move it right so we can see where we want to spawn them. So, okay screen ends here so we want to spawn them around here so 2500 units on the x so let's go to the gm flappy and let's set the pipe spawn location actually we have to compile first compile x let's set it to 2500 and the y let's set it to 12 because i will sh show you quickly so let's compile, save, and here on the background blueprint, we actually don't have anything yet, but on the later episodes where we will spawn some background, we will uh, use some specific way to use at, uh, how do I explain it like? We want to set this uh, Y location to 12 because we want one of the backgrounds to be at 5, other one on 10 and uh, closest to the camera be to be in uh, 15. So we want these pipes to go like in between them. I will show you on the later episodes. But yeah, and now what we want to do here we want to change this collision handling override to always spawn ignore collisions. And the next thing, what we have to do is we want to go back to the pipes. We can actually close this background if you open that. And here on the pipes, what you want to do, you want to create a new variable. Let's call it game mode underscore ref. Let's change the variable type to gm underscore Flappy of object reference. Now let's make it instance editable and expose on spawn. Okay. Expose on spawn means that when we spawn a actor like here, it will we will be we can set the variable. But now we can see it because we have to first change this to something else like none and then to back to pipes will update. Now we have the game mode ref variable here. Now we want to get from this and we want to just 
get the reference to self, like that. Okay, now let's compile, save. Now let's go to the event graph and here on the event graph, what we want to do on the event begin play, actually, we don't want to get from the event begin play. Want to, let's first delete the event tick. Let's create a new custom event. The custom event will be called start game. Okay, and here let's leave some space and let's create a node called set timer by function name. Now let's connect it. Let's leave some space here. We will add some code here later. And the function name should be this one here. So pawn underscore pipe. And it has to be written exactly like here. And time, let's promote this to a variable. And let's rename it to time between spot. And let's compile so we can set the value. Let's set it to 1.5 seconds. Okay, and let's make this to loop like that. So now when we compile and we save all, we go to the level one and play. You can see we have, actually we don't have, oh, let's delete this from the level. And here on the GM Flappy on the event play, we can play, we want to call the start game function. And the reason why we created a new custom event and we did just call this from the event begin play is because we have, we want to add some functionality here later on and we want to we don't want to call this straight from the event begin play but now just for testing purpose we want to do it that way so yeah now compile and save again and let's play we should see pipes coming like that okay now one more thing what we want to do with these pipes is let's close the game we actually want to go to the spawn pipe function and here we want to cut this link we want to split this transform location also split this and let's move this spawn actor pipes a little bit further and also the self reference and here we want to get the x to the x y to the y and for this set we want to actually we want to get Get random, oh, it's only random float in range. Okay, we want to get this, connect this to, it, it, it to there. The minimum value is minus 1500 and maximum is 1000, ah, sorry, minus 1250 and maximum 1250, like positive value. And actually, we don't have to leave that much. Base. Something like that. Now, when we compile, we save all and we play. You can see the pipes, uh, pipes height will be random. So, yeah. So, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.